Oh, look, another glorious morning. Makes me sick. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now, I can't lie to you. I'm not an OG Hocus Pocus fan. This is not a movie that I grew up with. I don't know what's up. I think maybe Family Channel never aired it or something. Because I've watched the Family Channel religiously for like my whole life. And I never saw Hocus Pocus. So I didn't see it until I was already an adult. Until like maybe 2016, I think. I remember Jacqueline Hill talking about it actually back when I used to watch her like all the time. And I was like, everybody talks about this movie. I want to see it. So I think I bought it on DVD at Walmart for like $8. And I love it. It's such a fantastic movie. And then of course shortly after that is when it sort of saw this big resurgence and there was products everywhere and blah 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 blah. Um, so if you remember around this time last year, Colourpop launched a Hocus Pocus Colourpop collab and it was a disaster. Um, the launch day, the website broke and no one could buy it. The second day, the website still wasn't working properly and 80% of people who were trying to just check out myself included, we were stuck there for like 45 minutes and it wasn't working and it, it was one of the most frustrating experiences of my life and I told myself I would never do another Colourpop launch day ever again. I was lying to myself. Because this year not only did they launch a new Hocus Pocus collection, they relaunched last year's. So I bought this year's whole collection and what they consider the Mary set from last year. Um, so that would be the eyeshadow palette, Mary Sanderson's lipstick, her eyeliner, which is purple, um, and I think it's eyelashes that are to go with her. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm wearing my Michaels broom hair, don't care t-shirt, and I'm also wearing my Hocus Pocus sweater from Hot Topic that my friend Alyssa bought me that I wouldn't buy for myself because I thought it was too expensive. So she went back and bought it for me because she's perfect. I wanted to wear it in this video. I might have to take it off because it is a thousand degrees, but I wanna show you, it's got like a little hood. I don't know how we've made it to like October 11th or whatever today is. I think this this video is going up like next week um, and it's still hot out, but oh well, I guess. I lied, I'm taking it off now. I'm already too hot, but I'll just leave it behind me like that. I think maybe ColourPop has like a standard size box that they ship because no matter how big or small an order I've done, it's always come in this kind of box. So I'm just gonna use my little knife. Look, it's a little strawberry. Isn't that so cute? So I didn't buy the whole of the original collection because it came with a pair of lashes for each sister and I, I didn't really need them. They weren't particularly my kind of lash. They weren't thick enough for me, if we're being honest. And then it came with a whole bunch of those glitterly obsessed, like the, the glitters and gels, and I just didn't need them. But if you bought the whole of the new set, you got a candle and a mirror. And you know me, I love things. So inside the box, it's very exciting. It's just bubble wrapped. <laughs> I think the mirror is on top, guys. So the packaging for the mirror is very cute. It says, I shall always be with you, which is the very cute little Thackeray Binks line at the end of the movie that he says to Danny. Very similar vibes to when Casper says to Tiny Baby, Christina Ricci, can I keep you? Which is a little bit creepier, actually, now that I think about it. But similar vibes. If I was a youth and I saw both of those movies, I would think that they, they were very sweet. But I didn't see either movie as a youth. Look at this little mirror. Just a little mirror. Oh, wow. The I Shall Always Be With You on the back is a little more holographic than I thought. I thought the back was going to look kind of cheesy and cheap, to be honest, but it looks much nicer. It's got like a texture to it. I thought it was going to be ugly, but it's actually not so bad. So that's the mirror we're going to be using today to put on my main game. Okay, as we open up here, we start to see more things from the original collection. So, like I said, I bought the Mary set. So these are the Clever Witch eyelashes that come in that set. There's a hair stuck to my finger now. They're pretty, but they're really nothing to write home about. They're very, like, natural-looking eyelashes. I don't know where I can hold them so that you can see what they look like. Maybe my forehead provides a light enough background. But they're just not... I actually like the lash case more than I like the lashes. But I wanted everything else in the Mary set, so why not get a cute little pair of natural-ish lashes? And then this is the cream gel liner. It's in the shade Trick or Treat. It's this, like, dark purple. Yeah, we're gonna crack it open and try it. I'm wearing, like, little Spirit Halloween claws as well, and I think these are really cute, but I'm, like, already chipping all the paint off the black ones. I don't even know how I've done that. I don't really do a whole lot, so it must not take much. So the packaging has eyes all over it. It says Hocus Pocus. 
Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, that's a nice deep purple. I quite like that. All right, the next thing I pull out is the, the Mary Lux lipstick and the Spinster Ladies lippy pencil. I didn't realize it came with a lip uh, liner and a lip stick. That's quite nice. So the lip liner is a deep red and I can imagine the lipstick matches. That's a chubby lipstick. So there's like lots of cool little graphics on the packaging. It's got like a cauldron and a spider and a moon. Yeah. And it's a nice deep red as well. I do prefer a deep red to a bright red and that was one of the things that, and it snaps closed. I love that. It makes it a little harder to open for a weakling like me, but it makes it more secure and I appreciate that. So this is the new collection, the Coven Crew eyeshadow palette. Now actually, full disclosure, in this whole new collection, this is the thing I was the least excited about. I really don't like this eyeshadow palette. I don't like the color scheme and I don't like the color scheme of the packaging, this purple and orange. I prefer the original, which we'll get to in a, a bit. So I actually already promised this eyeshadow to my sister, but I know that she won't mind if we just look at it. So it does have this sort of cute little like graphic novel-esque image of the girls on the top. And then you open it up and you don't blind the camera with the light, but it's got, smells weird, it smells very plasticky, but it does have actually a nicer color scheme than I thought it did um, to look at it in person. So it's got these sort of more, here, let me put this here, more like neutrally warm shades at the top, some fun sparkly shades in the middle, and then the, the matte versions of those sparkly shades at the bottom. Quite cute, I quite like it. Did I need this palette? No. If I had a choice, I wouldn't have bought this palette, but I wanted everything else. And you could, full disclosure, you could only get the candle if you bought the whole collection. And I wanted the whole collection and the candle, so. Next up, we have Trouble Brewing Super Shock Ch Shadow Trio. Forever Bewitching, Dost Thou Comprehend, To Be Young and Beautiful Again. This little box is freaking adorable. Look at the... The artwork on the back is like graphic versions of the book and the cauldron and banks. I really hate it when the packages are made so well that I can't get that out bag. Oh, cute! The packaging on is like this baby purple. So this one is Forever Bewitching. Ooh! Purple sparkly! Here I was thinking I wouldn't like the Super Shock shades, but they look nicer in person than I did online, that's for sure. Who's next? This one is a Dost Thou Comprehend. It's a little bit more of a yellow gold shade than I would usually wear. Typically I go for more of a white gold, um, but it's still pretty. And sometimes you need a gold shadow, I mean, who knows? And then the last one, see this is more of a me shade. This is a little bit more of a like, it's still a yellow gold, but it's just a little bit paler. So now here in the bottom, we have the three. Hello? Oh, I'll show you this first. So this is the face stamp. So instead of doing an eyeliner with this collection, they did a face stamp, and it's a spider. <laughs> Which I just thought was so neat. Like, me of all people, my makeup collection wouldn't be complete without a spider. So it's actually quite thick. I didn't expect it to be this chunky. It's a little spider. I love that. And then the last three things in here are the lip colors. So I think these are their like liquid lip creams. Yeah, Fresh Kiss Lip Cream. So there's the Sarah one, which is called Hello Boys. The Mary one, which is called Calming Circle. And the Winifred one, which is called Tonight We Fly. I believe the, the Sarah one is the black one. I believe, which is what I was most excited about because I don't know how that's gonna work. Yes, it is. Look at this, like, chunky square packaging. It's so cute. So I'm excited to try that one. Um, well, we're already here. I'll just open the other ones. Calming Circle, Mary's Shade. Sort of like a, ooh, a really nice sort of brownie nude. I didn't expect to like that one as much as I do. All right, and tonight we fly. I don't remember what this one looks like at all. Oh, it's like a deep berry purpley blackened red situation. I really like the inside of all of these packagings. It's like got that the graphic 
craft versions of banks and skulls and that sort of thing. And then the grand finale in here, wrapped better than the other palette, is the original palette. The piece that I really wanted. The Gather Round Sisters palette. Oh look, the side of the box looks like a book. Now the shades are on the back, but I'm pretty sure they're on the they're on the palette as well. Ooh, I like the packaging on the inside of this one even better. Because it's got like more like sketched cauldrons and stuff like that. So this is the ballad. Oh there's there's no mirror in this palette, which is the bane of my existence. And the shade Tis Firm which is a funny name. Seems to have made a little bit of a mess. Uh, and there's, there's a couple of shades in here that look like they didn't travel very well, but that, that's okay, I'll live. Um, they're basically just gonna live on a flat surface forever now anyway, so I still think it's beautiful. I have no regrets, no regrets. So, what are we gonna do? I'll take like a flatter fluffy brush and we'll go into the shade. Oh no, it's really sparkling, Never mind. We'll go into the shade Hello Salem, which is this one. And we'll just put that in my crease first. There should be a shade or something called My name's Winifred! What's yours? Is anything in here even called I put a spell on you? No. It's the best scene in the whole movie, come on. I didn't say this, but I am already wearing face makeup. I didn't think it needed to be said. My skin does not look this nice, let me tell you. Okay, so we're gonna take a little bit of a smaller brush. Just like a tick -a -pick -a -pick -a. this one. And we're gonna go into Night of Frolic. Yeah. Why? Because that was the shade I was the most excited for. Maybe we'll go into Dead Man's Toe, right beside that a little bit. Dead Man's Toe! Dead Man's Toe! And then we're gonna take that original brush and just fluff everything out again. Okay, now even though I'm tempted to just like leave it like that or put something light and sparkly on the lid, we're actually gonna leave the palette and we're gonna find that Mary Super Shock Shadow. I don't know why I think it's Mary. I think it's because she's like the purple one, you know? Every group's got a purple one. Mary Sanderson is the purple one. Nice and soft, like all Super Shock Shadows are. perfect color for this look that I've accidentally put together. I'm so aggressive with my hands that I'm always afraid with these super shock shadows I'm gonna wreck them because they're so soft and then I stick my absolutely like ugh, my claws in it. <laughs> Something like that and then we're gonna go back into that fluffy brush and just fluff out the edges and then I think we're gonna go back into the dead man's toe shade for the outer corners a wee bit. Maybe Mary's my favorite just because of my undying love for Kathy and Jimmy. But I just love Mary. I feel like little kid me, if I had seen this movie as a child, would have loved Winifred just because I always loved the girl in charge. You know? Like Blossom was my favorite Powerpuff girl. But older me respects Mary. You know? 
She's a weirdo. And I had no choice but to stand. Okay, now we're gonna take this Flower Beauty eyeliner because I didn't buy a regular eyeliner in this order. Good lord, what's wrong? It opens the other way. <laughs> okay, now we're just gonna do one of these. Don't worry, we're not done with this yet. But I just want to put on mascara, which I also did not buy from Colourpop. I'm thinking we're gonna use the Mary eyeliner on my lower lashes before I get too chaotic. So we're just gonna, I've never tried one of these ColourPop liners on my lower lash line before, I don't think. Okay y'all, I have a funky idea. And I don't know that it's gonna work out, but I'm just gonna ask you to come along with me for the ride, okay? I'm going to take that Flower Beauty eyeliner again. Do you see where we're going with this? Right? Should there be one farther out? Should it just be on one eye or on both? Maybe just on one eye. Now, where's the head? There it is. Look at that. That's a cute little guy. Now, the only lip liner I have over here is the Mary one, so we're gonna use that. That's a nice lip liner. I don't typically like roll up lip liners, but this one's nice. So I really have my heart set on trying the black one, but I actually think I'm gonna use the Winifred one because I just think this color is so interesting. Ready? My previous suspicion about these lip colors was right. They're not swipe on full opaque colors. It might take a coat or two, which is what makes me nervous about the black ones. Sorry, I'm trying not to sneeze. Um, because black lipstick that's not done right looks awful. Now, fortunately, I have a black lip liner, but there wasn't one in this coll collection. Okay, so this is my makeup done with the combination of the two collections. I'm not gonna bother putting on the Mary eyelashes and all, honestly I think my eyeliner would look better if I wasn't sweating my butt off. Um, so overall, uh, please don't ask me how much this order cost me because I don't want to talk about it. Uh, I think some of the items are still available on the Colourpop website. They didn't completely sell out immediately like they did last year, uh, but I think a lot of it is sold out. Um, overall, I'm really glad that I got the palette from last year and I like the lip colors, I think. This is nice and comfortable, so I do like it. Um, the Super Shock shades are much prettier than I thought they would be. I really like the mirror even more than I thought I would. Wait. Where's the candle? I was supposed to get the candle. 
There's no Gandalf in here. Ugh. I just realized that now. <laughs> I guess I'll have to email a color file customer service. And I'll tell you what they said. Hi, update from the next day, Abby. Surprising no one, it's actually me. I'm the idiot. The candle ships separately because of its weight. They say they actually want to package it like nicer and safer than they have to package the rest of the makeup. So it actually said in my confirmation email when they like confirmed that they shipped it, that it would be shipped separately. So they didn't forget the candle. They shipped it separately and my dumbass didn't didn't read that. So I take back anything that I said here about being upset about the candle. It is coming. I just don't know how to read. But anyway, overall, I'm not going to end this video by being a butt because I didn't get the candle. Because the rest of the products, the stuff that's actually usable to me, really, um, seem great. I really like them. I'm the type of person who's going to use the splatter stamp, so I love that. Um, like the lip colors, like everything. Wish the Mary eyelashes were a little more intense. Especially Mary, I feel like she would have more intense eyelashes. Um, but other than that, I like everything. Yes, I played myself when I said last year that I would never do another ColourPop launch again, but I, I knew in that moment that I was saying that with the caveat that, like, I'll never do another ColourPop launch again, asterisk, unless they launch the Hocus Pocus collection again. <laughs> it was worth it. This was fun. Anyway, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, to unbox everything with me, to play with the makeup with me. What do you think of this overall? What do you think of the palettes? Do you think they're cute? Do you think they're ugly? Do you think the colors are ugly? Do you think the packaging is ugly? Like I think of with the this color story. I definitely think that this color story is cuter um, than whatever is happening over here. But that's just me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!